What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we got quite an important update to the weapon balance in Call of Duty Vanguard, and this could really open up a lot more variety in your weapon setups. And essentially what they did with this is for nearly every gun in the game, they buffed its low caliber ammo. And typically, low caliber ammo is something you should just stay far away from. I use those words in nearly every single one of my gun guides in Vanguard, where the high caliber ammo, that's generally a great choice. However, the low caliber ammo, it's just not worth using. And you're usually far better off just using the base gun with no attachments compared to the low caliber ammo. That has suddenly changed today. Now, if you have a look at the patch notes, there's a lot going on there, and I'm not going to go through every single one of the weapons here, because that would be straight up information overload for you guys. It would add way too much complexity to this video that isn't necessary, in my opinion. And as a result, I'm going to be talking primarily about the trend that you see that is applying to all of these guns, with a few exceptions that I will be pointing out. But essentially, with most of these, what you're going to be seeing is an increase to their maximum damage, and then with many of them, we see a damage range reduction with that ammo type, as well as in some of the cases, not very many of the cases, but in some cases, you'll see a reduced fire rate bonus. So you're still getting a faster fire rate than the base gun, but it's not going to be as fast as it was previously while using that same ammo. And in order to see how the trend has changed with this update, we first have to look at what low caliber ammo had a tendency to do to your gun before this patch. Keep in mind, this applies to most of the guns in the game. Again, there's a few little exceptions here or there, but for most of the full auto standard guns in the game, if you were to use a low caliber ammo pre-patch, what you would tend to see is it would take you one extra shot to kill, whether that's in the torso or the limbs, doesn't matter. It's gonna take you an extra shot to kill, but you get lower recoil, a faster fire rate, and typically a slight reduction to your range value. Now with this, it's also worth noting that even though you were getting a boosted fire rate, it was never enough to make your time to kill better for a gun, considering the fact that it's taking you an extra shot to kill. And this is the biggest reason that low caliber ammo was generally not a good choice to be using. It made you kill slower than you could with the base version of the gun. And most people don't want to be killing any slower than the base version of the gun, especially when there's high caliber ammo, which in most cases allows you to kill faster than the base version of the gun. So that was a big problem right there that immediately disqualified low caliber ammo from most setups. And therefore it basically just provided the illusion of variety and choice when in reality they were just pointless filler items. Post patch, it's a completely different story. Now if you read through the patch notes, you might notice that a lot of the times the damage increases wouldn't be enough to change the number of shots to kill. Like with the STG with the 762 Garenko, they increase the damage from 22 up to 24. And no matter if you're dealing 22 or 24 damage, that's still going to be a five shot kill. So it looks like there's no change there. But the key thing to pay attention to here is these values that they're stating are the base values that apply to the limbs, not to the torso. And the torso is generally what we're gonna be shooting. And that's generally the time to kill that you should be looking at is your torso time to kill. And in this specific case with the 762 Granko on the STG, pre-patch we were dealing 24 damage to the torso and post-patch we're now dealing 26 damage to the torso, which means we can now kill in four shots to the torso rather than five. So now that we have that out of the way for anybody that might be confused while reading through the patch notes, let's have a look at the new trend with the changes that were made with this update. Again, I will be pointing out the exceptions to this in a little bit. For nearly every regular full auto gun, assault rifle, LMG, and SMG, post patch while using low caliber ammo, you now have the potential to kill in the same number of shots to kill as the base version of the gun, as long as you're hitting the torso, and you still get a rate of fire boost, and as a result, your time to kill is now better with low caliber ammo than it is with the base version of the ammo. Now I should also mention that the high caliber ammo is still generally going to give you a better time to kill potential. So if you're absolutely looking to get the best time to kill possible, you still wanna go with high caliber ammo. However, if there's a case where the high caliber ammo just makes the recoil completely uncontrollable and you'd be willing to sacrifice a little bit of time to kill potential in order to gain a lot of accuracy, the low caliber ammo is now a very viable choice to gain that extra accuracy because you're still going to be killing faster than the base version of the gun. Now with this, you do have to be aware of the fact that you are going to be losing some damage range as well. So that is something to factor into the equation when you're creating your class setups with low caliber ammo. 
And another thing is, even though we have the same potential shots to kill as the base version of the gun, you typically are going to be more reliant on hitting those torso shots in order to maintain that number of shots to kill. And as a result, hollow point is almost always going to be a great option for you when using low caliber ammo, especially if you're not confident in hitting those torso shots. If you're somebody that frequently hits limb shots, hollow point is going to be your friend while using low caliber ammo. So there you go, that's the general rule to be following from now on if you're thinking about maybe trying out low caliber ammo, but let's cover the exceptions with this where it's not actually going to be improving the number of shots to kill in the maximum damage range, and therefore I still wouldn't recommend using this low caliber ammo. The first exception is the Nikita AVT. This one is still going to take you five shots to kill to the torso up close, which is one extra shot to kill compared to the base. So you probably still want to stay away from that one. Then we have the Sten, which recently got a big buff, and the base ammo is actually really solid with it now. Unfortunately, the 7.62 Gorenko, which is the low caliber ammo, it's still going to take you four shots to kill to the torso, so an extra shot to kill. Therefore, you get a worse time to kill than the base gun. Also, we have the Owen gun. This one's a bit of an interesting one. Pre-patch, the low caliber ammo didn't make you take an extra shot to kill. You dealt less damage, but it was still a three shot kill with or without low caliber ammo, but it gave you a fire rate boost and therefore it was actually a good option. Now, even though the damage got buffed, it's still a three shot kill potential, but our rate of fire benefit isn't as good as it used to be with low caliber ammo, so this technically got a nerf to its low caliber ammo. It still does kill a bit faster than the base Owen, but not nearly to the same degree that it used to. And finally, for an exception here where it actually turned out to be a nerf, this is on the brand new M1916 Marksman Rifle. Our rate of fire boost that we get with the low caliber ammo has been decreased, and yet it's still taking us an extra shot to kill. And as a result, it actually harmed our time to kill with the low caliber ammo. So stay away from 6.5 Sakura on the M1916. So there you go, those are the exceptions. When it comes to pretty much everything else, low caliber ammo is viable now. Now, is it better than the high caliber ammo? In many cases, I would say probably not. If you're going for the best time to kill potential possible, high caliber ammo is still likely the best bet for you. Having said that though, I am all for this change. I think this brings a much better balance between high caliber and low caliber ammo. Instead of one being obviously a good choice and the other one being an obviously bad choice, now they're both good choices, but you just have to balance out the pros and cons. If you're looking for the best time to kill possible, high caliber ammo is the way to go. If you're looking for a bit of a better time to kill than the base gun and a bit better accuracy than the base gun, and you don't necessarily need to have the absolute fastest time to kill possible, low caliber ammo is now a very viable choice for you to use. And I'd encourage trying out a few new setups with low caliber ammo because you might be very pleasantly surprised. You might end up with a much more accurate gun that also has a very competitive time to kill. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on the pretty big weapon balancing change that we got today, just because it covered so many weapons in the game. And this is where I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of this pretty big buff to low caliber ammo in Call of Duty Vanguard? Do you guys think this was a good change or a bad change? And do you see yourself swapping your class setups anytime soon? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.